Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So, uh, I went ahead and did some mining. Not a ton of mining, but uh, enough to get a few different materials like, you know, 43 iron, some copper, silver, lead, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually split these up. Now, I got gold ingots. I found a chest underground. Uh, they have these chests that you can find which uh, are kind of neat. They can be either uh, an enemy or uh, they're like a chest monster that tries to eat you up. Or they can be... Uh, uh, some just random uh, loot in it. Pretty vanilla style loot, actually. But uh, I did get two buckets from that, so I, I can't complain. Um, and it was fun to just come across that. And uh, so, yeah, uh, just want to let you know, where did I get my bucket from? Where did I get my ingots from? Outside of that, it was very, very vanilla mining. Uh, we won't do many episodes, if ever. Oh, well, I shouldn't say ever, but we won't do a lot of episodes of, like, mining or a lot of... Um, I should say recording of mining rather than episodes. I don't think we'll have any full episodes of mining. But the idea is I don't want to bore you guys too much uh, because that that's not something that most people want or enjoy. And uh, I can't blame you. So uh, it's been a, a request for a long time. Then again, sometimes people miss mining. But you know what? It's really ba basic mining, you know. If I get a new mining tool, whatever, I do like to show it off, you know. Ooh, this is, you know, like a special enchant I got, you know, and things like that. But uh, overall, it's it's just, you know, your normal stuff. So let's go to bag uh, sleeping, actually. Ooh. You were lagging there. So we got a sleeping bag here. Now, right click. This is a sleeping mat and uh, requires leather and a piece of wool, which isn't so bad. And this is a sleeping bag. Well, the sleeping mat seems way better anyway. So uh, there we go. We got both. Now, it's red and it probably requires red wool. Okay. So I was kind of wondering about that. So we can take our poppy and we can turn it into that, 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 that. And right click to toggle spawn points. Uh, uh, right click to toggle. Okay, spawn points are off. So right now, uh, you know, it says right click. So on now? Probably shift right click. No. Oh, right click in your inventory. Hell, I didn't know that was a thing you could do. But anyway, so now we can sleep any time without the risk of causing... Uh, the mob apoc uh, happening. So I'm going to do some setting changes today. Uh, so right away, I'm going to hit J. And, oh, God, that came up again. That's not supposed to happen each time. The file is clearing out, which that is not good. This might actually ruin my options I want to set. Anyways, uh, notice at the bottom, it says, of the map, it says 15, blah, 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 negative 247, 68. Well, your height is the 68, and that bothers me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, and we're going to, first of all, change the UI theme once again. Go to Minimap pres uh, Presets. And we're going to change uh, this here so it looks like th this right here, X, Y, Z. And you can do this for the full map as well. And once again, X, Y, Z. And that kind of fixes that, uh, makes it a little nicer. I also like my mini map to be um, a square. And I probably could change the size to like, say, 20 or something. Maybe that's too small, but let's see. Uh, that might have been a little too small. I mean, even for you guys. Not that you should be paying attention much to the map, but uh, I can understand that being slightly a bit too off. So we can change that to, say, 26 probably would be a, a nicer size. Yeah, there you go. So now you kind of get a better idea of uh, the mini map. Now it has a different day and night cycle. It, uh, I think it shows you... I'm not quite sh where, sh where it shows you. It's a bit weird. Uh, but zero, I think, is your day. So that's where it kind of resets at. Uh, and then it gets up to like nine or eight or so. And then I think it uses the Minecraft clock and not really like a... I don't know how it exactly goes. I should not even try to explain something that I'm not 100% sure. And now there's another thing. So you can type in top CFG, which stands for... Oh, what the heck is that? I, I know who, uh, because I, I figured it out on my own. It's uh, something, uh, the One Probe, that's what it's called. The One Probe Config. Config is uh, standard for CFG. And if you type that in, you can change it to Wayla style, which I kind of like a bit more. I like to scale it just down a bit. Uh, probably the one, actually, it seemed to just do it. Oh, I guess that's the smallest. Oh, I see. These are the settings. I see. Uh, I like to set it to there and whale a style. 
and then that way it's black it looks better to look at uh, i'm not a big fan of the the clear kind of stuff but uh yeah these are just random you know settings i change over time and there's probably going to be more i'll change uh for example i prefer you know the map for example uh let's see here it's j i prefer an m key by the way you can hit uh, this and see what the heck's on my m key so there's a change mode i don't really care about that there's a mode switch uh Oh, nope, the map, I'll hit M, and then mechanism, there you go. And I hit escape on those other ones, and then there you go. So now when I hit M, it brings up my map. So those are little customizations I do for myself over time, and well, hopefully uh, you know how to do them yourself now, uh, if you didn't before. Okay, so we're going to go and look for some basic resources today. Uh, let's get ourselves a shovel, actually. I think a shovel would be awesome. You know what, I do have this one item. I mean, you know, I probably will never get the full set of those by the time I get something better, so... So let's go ahead and make ourselves a, a decent little shovel if this still... Yep, there it is. So look at that. 512 durability. Awesome. And I might have thrown in my good pick in here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we're good here. So what I want to do is I want to collect some different things like clay and stuff like that today. This looks like salt. Okay, so mechanism. I'm not sure if this salt is used for anything uh, outside of mechanism. Uh, Pam used to use it. There was another couple mods in the past that would have used it, but I feel like that might have slightly changed only the fact that, wait, isn't this the water that makes me float all the time? Holy crap. Apparently sitting in there is not a good idea. Okay, we'll just not touch that. Uh, for fun, I was actually thinking, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and mine those because I can see them. Uh, then I realized, wait a minute, I'm standing in the water that always makes me float. <laughs> um... But I'm not sure if there's anything that uses the salt out of outside of mechanism that much. Uh, I think you could use it at one point as an ore dictionary item. I don't know if it happened naturally or if some you know mod developers, uh, uh, not mod developers, sorry, mod pack developers had changed it themselves. But uh, either way, we are searching for clay. Now, there is other ways of getting clay, and I probably am going to end up having to use those other methods just because... Uh, clay doesn't always show up in little rivers like this as much as one would want. Uh, this pack seems a little different in that. Oh, God. Blindness. Did somebody try to copy Vanilla 13? Except they don't do blindness, I thought. So, yeah, see? They're doing the, uh, the, the copy of the, uh, the squirting the ink out, but... Which I think came in 13, but they didn't actually cause blindness, or at least not right away. Maybe it does now, but I'm just kind of laughing. Uh, so the reason I'm killing squid is it's not really I need squid in their, in their ink sacks. It's more about that later on you might need them. So when you come across them, you might as well take them out, you know. Okay, so is this clay? It looks kind of off, but yeah, that's clay. Okay, let's go back to the top here quickly. Whoop, there we go. There you go. And just go back to the top again. So clay is used, of course, for many, many things. And we'll probably use it for many, many things. Uh, I think the biggest thing you're going to notice... Oh, you go even deeper in clay. Uh, oh, crap. We're going to take some damage here in a second. There's no doubt in that. Here we go. Tick damage. There you go. Uh, we were actually being dragged down. Um, when you when you break it, I guess it doesn't put, replace source blocks right away. It's something like that in that those uh, that area. Anyways, uh, so it kind of pushes you down and pulls you in and makes it a little harder to get around. But I'm going to need some uh, gravel anyways. So I'm just thinking, why don't I uh, grab some while I'm at it? So... There you go. We should be able to make it to the top without too much of an issue. Aha. Uh -huh. There's more clay over here. We should probably get that. Yep. Awesome. And then we're going to eat some sand. We're at a beach, so sand isn't going to be a problem at all. Uh, I would say clay, clay is the biggest thing, but it looks like there might be a mod on here that offers clay in the water a bit more. I'm seeing clay more where it normally isn't sitting these days, so uh, I feel like our clay issues won't be much of an issue. 
Yeah, look at the patches of clay in the ocean. Awesome. So there, there's either a mod or I just haven't played Minecraft for so long I forgot. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at there's a little tower over here. Okay, let's go ahead and collect some sand because we're going to want that. Apparently, we got an achieve. Ender IO conduits. Oh, it's probably the bindings. It's probably like if you get dirt and sand or something like that, you use them for the bindings. Uh, a bit weird, honestly. That it, you know, randomly. Imagine every item, like, imagine every mod that does the same thing. So, oh, you just achieved uh, getting grass. Well, there's a mod that uses grass. Or, oh, you got a stick. There's a mod that uses a stick, so it, it, it gives you that achievement. So, I, I feel like that's a bit weird on their part. I'm not gonna, you know, I won't go too deep in that, but I always think, what happens if everyone does that? Oh, there was one thing I wanted to tell you about, and, um, that's these guys here. So I went ahead and went to video settings. You have to have um, Optifine installed. For some reason, Fancy is causing a lot of lag. It usually doesn't, but for some reason it is for me. So I'm using Fast. Fast uses a little less lag. Off, of course, no... Well, well you get whatever lag you get from Minecraft, right? But uh, performance-wise, it's a bit better, so... And if you can guess why I'm grabbing, uh, well, let's go with the clay first. If you can guess why I'm grabbing clay right away, uh, and you, you guessed right, you will get a smile from me. But I have a feeling a lot of you will get it wrong. I mean, it's possible you get it right, but I feel like you'll probably get it wrong just because I'm going to do something a little bit, bit different than what most people do with their clay when they first get it. So, we'll see. Okay, so let's check out this wizard tower. Uh, looks like night's coming, so we could probably... I think it's like 1020-something you can do it at, but 1028 maybe or so, but there you go. So it has a bit of a durability to it, so... Holy crap! What? <laughs> what are you? It's like a pouring, but, you know, instead of sucking up items, it tries to suck you up. I was frightened by it. Okay, so here's the tower. It's alright, we're, we're alive, we're alive. <laughs> Ooh, this might be actually nice. Oh, oh, there's a, holy crap, there's a massive stall. Holy crap! That is the world's biggest stall I've ever had, I think. Holy crap! Oh, I think we're gonna die, unless if I can outheal it, but... Oh, apparently that guy did not like that. Mine... Make a wizard... Oh, so I made him angry by breaking his stuff in his house. Holy crap, he got angry. Okay, back to getting books. Chanting table. So I guess next time we know, uh, we might want to kill him first before stealing his books. I mean, I guess you can't blame him, you know. You go to some wizard's library and starts taking all his books. Not really nice. He's got a nice view here. Nice little p view of a forest here. Okay. I did not expect that. This is an ex liquefied uh, experience or solidified experience sorry I just always eat it holy crap you're uh... I think it's programmed so you can't really dodge it I think it goes right to you no matter what but you can kill it pretty good like I, I, I do like it like it lets you uh, fight back without you know being overly uh, uh, useless I guess at combating them Okay, so we're going to head back now. Uh, did I make my... You know, I was going to make a waypoint, and I never did, but we live right there, so it's not like it's really that hard. But I was going to make a waypoint just so I can always find my way back home. Okay, I heard some weird noise, but I'm just going to ignore it. I think I saw it too, but I'm like, eh. 
I don't want to touch a plant little creature. So Batania is in here, of course. You can you can definitely tell by that. I guess Batania, I don't know if they've eased up on in this pack or if it's just like Batania's eased up overall. Well, maybe not because look at all these Batania flowers. But uh, in other packs, we, uh, we had heavily modified our packs in the past to usually it'd be either uh, no flowers or very few because uh, at least back in the day, you could duplicate them quite easily, so it wasn't really a big deal. Uh, but who who knows these days, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some coal, and let's go ahead and put you in there and you in here, and we're gonna go ahead and I don't know how many of these I'm gonna want, but I'm gonna do some. I, I'm gonna need some for other stuff anyways, but uh, yeah. We'll get some going here, and then uh, let's get some more wood. I don't think I need wood right this second, but while those are smelting, might as well grab some. My unfortunately, this is gonna break before it becomes. Oh, sorry, before it becomes. Uh, before I'm able to chop down the tree completely, but oh, there it goes. But you want to stare up those anyways, just so you can easily work with them. Okay, so uh, here we go. We got some brick going on here. Awesome, awesome. So I'm not sure if I can do whatever I'm gonna do. I have some iron, so I probably will be able to. Uh, there is a mod called Bonsai. There you go. Uh, bonsai, Bonsai. And uh, basically, we're going to look into the hopper version. So you're going to need some iron as well uh, crafted for this. Uh, let's see here. I got. I didn't really pay attention to this, did I? You think there was enough? Oh, actually, I know what to do. Take out the coal, silly. There you go. It's like I'm not sure exactly the number I'm looking for here, but there you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some iron here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll probably do two of them uh, for now, but this is a kind of a cool mod I wanted to look into, and so it's it's a simple mod basically. It lets you grow trees and on a, a bonsai thing, and it's pretty decent to be honest. I've I've seen it in action, and I thought, oh, I have to have this thing. So um, it's it's a bit overpowered. I I can admit to that for sure. Um, I wonder if somebody added this feature in. Like, this is in vanilla, but who, who would add it in here? Hold shift and right click. No, that's not in, I don't think. Unless there's another way to do it. But uh, in vanilla 13, I, I think it was 13, uh, you can actually add a chest beside another chest. I mean, there might be a mod on here. Who knows, right? But I just saw, you know, in the patch notes. So I was like, oh, that's probably going to be a big de deal. So you got your your uh, your your little bonsai thing here, uh, and it's it's right now it's just more for cute. I, I would say this version is for decoration. The hopper basically you can uh, right click it with an axe and things like that and use it, but at the same time I feel like that's like just too decoration style. But the one that you want is the hopper because then you can automate it and then it becomes very very powerful. And I think that's uh, that's where it really uh, becomes uh, very interesting. Intriguing. Ooh, I just realized I'm gonna want some more chests because hoppers require chests, don't they? They should make the, you make one tenth of a chest because you know you don't get much uh, room in the hopper. But anyways, uh, oh yeah, we're gonna need. Uh, there you go. I just realized that we didn't give it enough iron then, did we? Because you need what five iron per thing, so when. Because I was thinking of duplicating the iron in my head, like the iron would duplicate, so that was probably what's going in. Wait, we overuse the, isn't it 8 to 8? I wonder if that bug's on here. There used to be a bug. It's a known bug where, like, uh, the efficiency of the furnace is, well, uh, and a furnace should use, uh, be able to smell 8 things at once, but there was a bug where it'd run off of a tick or something, like it would lack a tick or something. And so basically, uh, you wouldn't be able to quite get... Uh, Eight, maybe you get you know um, seven point nine 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 items crafted, so it'd end up using another piece of fuel. But this was known as a bug, so and I thought that was fixed a long time ago. And oh my, that my friends is my sump pump going off in the background. Okay, something like this. Aha, there you go. 
And I'll probably use the dark oak. I don't think it really matters what you use, but uh, why not? Just keep one wood looking type. And all you do, oh yeah, you need to uh, get a piece of, probably have dirt on me. Yep. You just right click dirt on it. How cute is that? And there you go. So if you guessed I was going to use my clay for the bonsai trees, you were correct. And there they go. How adorable is that? And this is all they do. And they, if you look at them, uh, you will see these ones actually look identical. Do these actually always grow identical? I think they might have other random chances. But the idea is they, they will they will grow differently at times. It's kind of like random, uh, just like a random tree. And you can do this with resin trees. Yes. So you can, oh, there's an achievement for that. So you can do this with IC trees and stuff. So you can see this has gotten wood and a stick. This got nothing. It's a so, sort of a small chance of getting materials. I don't know if this pack or the mod itself has any really worthwhile uh, ones that are like, oh, you you will always get lots of items if you do this one, for example. I have no freaking clue if that, that's a thing. But uh, either way, that works out really well for us, and I like that. And I think I'm going to do one more just because there's just one spot that I feel like it could do with one, and it just, oh, I should have done another chest here. I feel like it would just be a perfect little spot, so... Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put one over here and uh, I'll probably give it out anyways in the title of the uh, thing anyways. I'll be like, I bet you guess can't you get guess what I'm going to make and then it's going to be in the friggin title of the video. Unfortunately, you got to make your title slightly spoilish because people won't find your videos. So somebody will look up the video and wonder maybe how it works or what it is or whatever. So you kind of have to give it away sometimes. If you don't, then you're even worse than me. <laughs> you have to already, you probably notice, you know, I get very, very little f views. I enjoy doing this, but you you know, I, I don't get many views to begin with. So, uh, and we had one actually more dark oak one. So there you go. So there you go. You got a couple dark oak. So you got three, four dark oak uh, and a stick and some, you even get the saplings over time. And so you can do this for most uh, trees on here. Not every tree. Just want to let you know. Uh, I believe that there's not a tree compatible. It could be configured and be compatible. Uh, there might be a reason why it's not compatible, legitimacy reasons, etc. But uh, either way, yeah, um, I thought you guys would enjoy that. So now that we're doing all this, uh, let's go ahead and, you know, it might be time to look at in Tinkers. Uh, Tinkers is always, you know, one of our main, main go-to mods anyways. Uh, so you got the, the tables and all that, right? You got the patterns and, uh, maybe I'll just do it in my head. Cause it's like, holy crap, I'm trying to not do it, uh, through do it. The other method is probably not going to work so well. So let's go ahead and keep a couple of these out, but most of it's going to be these guys. And then you're going to have a bunch of sticks. Okay. So let's see if I remember this, right? We go like this and there you go. So we get a bunch of these guys going, I'm going to need more sticks. Probably have already messed this up. Actually, no, I don't need more sticks, but yeah, whatever. Uh, so you got this. Uh, you got your stencil table. You got uh, uh, your parts builder. You got your, uh, let's see here. This will be our tool. Oh, that's your crafting station. Crafting station, I think you need for the full thing anyway. So I'm going to build it. Uh, but that wasn't what I was actually going for because isn't tool forge that way or the tool one like that? I think it is. I'm not sure. Well, if we overmake it, whatever. I think this is one as well. Aha, there you go. Tool station. And there's the parts one as well, which I think you want only because you end up getting, I think it all works. Whoa. Oh, what the, what the? Why is this so different looking? Oh, it's nighttime. Uh, I went around and lit up the area with the F7 I showed you in the first episode where we set the hotkey. You can actually check the map. Map is probably a really wonderful way of showing this. Let's go nighttime here. You can see this is us and it's well lit around. I mean, mobs will still spawn here and there, but they'll be at least a little further than normal. I prefer to sleep anyways, just because you don't want any accidents happening. But uh, eventually when, you know, you build a base, you're inside more and stuff like that. You just don't worry about night as much. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, this should be what we need. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, put my 
tool station down, put the crafting station beside it, uh, put the stencil table, the part builder, and uh, I might as well just put this guy here for fun. This is different looking, but hey, it's the same thing. It just seems so... The other one was pretty out of fit, but this seems even more out of fit, honestly. But hey, somebody made it. And there you go. They all connect. Uh, I don't know if they all connect without the... Oh, it looks like they might have actually... Let's see. It was this one that you had to complete it with. Ah, uh, yeah. So it is this one that made it complete. This you don't have to use, but you might as well because it all goes in there. And uh, then you can make yourself... Uh, well, well, we'll start this episode making the tool... Uh, sorry, the um, we'll make some cobblestone tools for fun, but uh, not the best use of your uh, usage. So I guess you could technically just click here and go where you're going to go. So it's like, oh, I want a stencil table. You put your blank patterns in here, which is, you know, your stencils. So you got your uh, pick head. You got your pick shaft here. I think that's the tool rod. Yep. And then uh, why am I missing something? An X here. Ha ha. The binding tool. And then you go to your part builder and you just put these guys in and you just take something like a material, uh, which is, oh, sorry, the material goes there. So you take something like cobblestone. And it'll even tell you all the different information about like what, why is it good, why is it bad, things like that. You can use wood here. So, for example, wood uh, is actually better on a handle, oddly enough. Uh, so wood would actually give you a better benefit strangely enough for durability and modifier and i'm going to actually show you that in a second so we're going to build this up just purely with stone for now so here we go and here you go and then we're going to go to the crafting uh, sorry tool station and we'll pick this and we'll just shift click them in there and there you go so there is your tool and if you go back here and you throw this tool in, you'll get all your information here. So it's a crappy pick, has 16 durability, four mining speed, worst thing ever. It does have three modifiers. Uh, but if we go back to our uh, parts here, and then we go back to here, you can see you got the handle, tells you the different things like the handle, the head, etc. right? Uh, might show you the other, I'm not sure. Oh, it says extra durability. So does extra on this have a bit? Yeah, it does. But the handle, it seemed to be the most interesting because you get a bit more out of it. So we're going to go with the ecologic whatever one. And we're going to go back to the tool station. We're going to put this in with this in it. And you, oddly enough, are going to upgrade this because you have to remember uh, the handle has a modifier of one, but also it modifies. It basically gives it higher durability. But at the same time, it also has 25 durability where the other one had negative of durability so it was like a really bad effect it was like a horrifying uh, effect to it this now makes it basically better than regular stone oh no it makes it about stone sorry i lied there uh but there you go and then now when you use it of course uh, if you've never used tinkers i mean we're going to use it on uh grass but it, it uses about the same way i think if you misuse it on the inappropriate block you do two damage things like that actually tinkers is a bit different i mean you know a basic block like this yeah it probably does the two and then one normally uh but when you get into like speed modifiers things like that there there actually can be more durability usage um there's like a whole special math to it and then to repair this you repair it whatever the head of the material is made out of so this one is, of course was made with cobblestone so you take a piece of cobblestone and you can repair it and you can swap these parts anytime now the only downside is most of our parts and the stuff we have are a little too advanced we need a smeltery for that which requires basically episode three uh, but before we do that we're going to go ahead and uh oh what is that stuff called i am so out of it today uh here you go i can't think of this word right now grout that's right grout made out of gravel red uh red <laughs> sand and clay so you got your sand and then you got your gravel which i have very little of and then you got your clay uh if you hit i uh, t on an items while in the inventory they'll search for more so if you take these two and, or three and put them in here you can actually make yourself uh grout and then when you smelt grout down uh you will end up creating yourself um We'll show you here, uh, seared brick. And then the seared brick is used to make like a smeltery controller or faucet, 
uh, casting base and all that kind of stuff. So it, it gives you a lot out of it. So in the next episode, we're going to actually make metal tools. So basically, we're going to probably make an iron pick, things like that. Uh, not only that, uh, since we will have a casting um uh, you know, the, the I came with once again, my brain is completely out of it. Since we're gonna have a smeltery, I apologize, um, we'll be able to duplicate our ores. Basically, uh, you'll get two iron instead of one iron per ore, things like that. So, that'll be a big difference. So, it'll help us a lot in mining. But, uh, either way, over time, you do get exp. I'm just gonna throw all this in because I'm crazy. Uh, over time, you do get EXP. Keep that in mind. Uh, it has 0 of 500 EXP. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to use it with the correct uh, material to actually get EXP. So if you're going to mine sand with something that is meant to hit against rock, you won't get it. Uh, but if you go and hit a piece of smooth stone, you should get 1 EXP. Uh, I think you might get more if you hit a special orb, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I don't really want to collect these. Oh, God. Um, that's just three. You know what? I might be lying. Maybe this is just pure one-on-one, -on -one, uh, to be honest. That that kind of sucks. I thought you'd get a bit more if you do different material types. I think that is an option. So uh, don't quote on me anyways because I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure there was an option or you could uh, get more EXP for, say, if you got diamonds or something like that. But uh, either way, um, that is the end of this episode, and I think we did really cool. Uh, I know we only got two little things done, but at the end, uh, it was well worth it. And look at all the wood we have. So we got 30 plus wood already just from that, just, just from that little time, and that'll add up. You know, when I'm mining, doing other stuff, boom. It'll be awesome. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Goodbye.